Greetings everyone, David Abron here with a quick question for you. Have you ever written a blog post with the intention of using it as an organic traffic method? You know, put a blog post out there, intercept search queries, bring them back to your site and have them take a certain action. Whether it's get on your list, buy a product or service, whatever your intention is, right? So you put that blog post out there and you wait and you wait and nothing happens. Has that ever happened to you? Well, in today's video, I'm going to invite you over my shoulder and show you exactly what I do when I write blog posts that gets results. These blog posts get on the very front page of Google each and every time within 24 hours for the search term that I'm targeting. And it brings traffic right back to my site and we get some great results. So I want to share that with you. It's a strategy that I've learned uh, uh, some time ago that has been working wonders for us. So with that in mind, today's video is going to be a little longer than normal because we're going to really kind of dove into it. We're going to actually write today's blog post that you're looking at, excuse me, on, on my computer, and I'm going to share with you exactly how I do it. So with that in mind, we're going to go there now. Now, this is the computer I work on. It's right over here. And what you're looking at is another screen. What I'm looking at with you is another screen. So I'm going to be looking over here, working with you here, that sort of thing, okay? So without further ado... Let's jump on the machine. Okay. So here we are on my computer. And the first thing we always do, always, always, we go into Google, we're going to type in keyword. And what we want to do is get Google's keyword research tool. All right. And it's usually the very first one that pops up, and there it is. So we're going to select it. And this is a critical step, you guys, because you want to really target a single keyword in your blog post. You don't want to target two or three or whatever. You just want to target one keyword and write a post about it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So, all right. So here we are on the Google keyword tool and we're writing that today's blog post is about how to write a blog post, right? So let's select a keyword or I don't know how to blog. All right, we'll throw that in there and then we hit search and up comes our results. So here's what we typed in and it comes up with low competition, 124 million global monthly searches. That means around the world and 20 million local monthly searches. That means here in the United States. Now, the first thing I do is I go down to the local monthly searches and I click it, which is going to allow me to organize it by most frequent to, to least, right? From most popular to least. So we can see the keywords over here. Now, we take a look. These are different derivatives of our keyword search. The blog, how to get blog, it blogs, etc. right? And there's just the word blog. And we can see that they're all being searched equivalently. All right. So we're going to keep the how to blog. We're going to keep that search, that search term. I like that. We can keep that keyword. And it's low competition. Now, this is good news, bad news, okay? It's good news because it'll be relatively easy for us to rank with this keyword because it's low competition. It's bad news because others are not spending money in this in with this keyword. Because if people are spending money with this keyword, it would be more like high. Okay? Like we look at the high, and that is create a website. Okay, that's a highly um, uh, competitive uh, term but if for our example how to blog i like that it's low i like these numbers and we're going to go with this term now if i typed in how to blog and it was super low and i found some derivatives that were higher i would switch my keyword for something that's got a higher search amount does that make sense and i like to make sure it has at least five thousand monthly searches or more so when we see 20 million and 124 million we're in a good place, okay? So we're gonna go with how to blog. That's the keyword we're gonna use. And the next thing we wanna do is open up our dashboard, okay? Now I use WordPress, okay? And you may use other blogging platforms. Whatever platform you use, you're likely to have a dashboard that allows you to create a post. So what we're gonna do over here is go to post and add new. And that's going to open up a blank template that we can now use to write down our post. So here we are. And first, let's write a title, something like how to blog, right? How to blog, uh, how, how 
how to blog uh, using simple techniques that rank. No, actually, I don't like that. Let's delete that out. How to blog using, let's go with SEO tips that rank. Okay, I like that better. And you wanna make sure that, that your keyword is in your title. And then we'll you know start off uh, by saying something like, um, have you ever wondered how to blog, there's our keyword. I didn't wonder how to blog and actually have your post on the search engines. All right, so we're gonna go to search engines. That's a great question. Now, I, I don't know if I'm going to use these this text uh, or not, but I just want to get something in here to illustrate what we got going on, okay? And I try to bring a video. Okay, so I've shot a great video show. All right, so I always like to make this uh, the, the call to action, watch the video. Make that stand out a little bit. So I'll make it red and bolded, okay? And then we need to put our video. So let's assume we've already shot our video and we've uploaded to YouTube, that sort of thing. So I go to YouTube. Here I'm on my channel, but let's go back to the video manager. And let's just assume that we again that we uploaded our video already so what we want to do is go um, grab that video so let's say that this one right here is the video that we shot so we're going to go back into it and once we're in the video that we want to throw on our blog we go down here to share and once that opens then we're going to select embed okay Let's pause that. And what you want to do is make sure you're on custom size. So it might be on one of these others when you open it up. But go down to the bottom, the custom. And you're going to type in 590. That's going to default to 332 width. And what we do then is we highlight. The reason we go 590 is because that's going to allow the video to, to go right across our WordPress page and fill in uh, the fill in the, the space, which makes it look really nice. So now we go here and we go back over and we just simply select text and we go right underneath the last thing we wrote and we paste it in. Now, if you ever notice that my videos are to play, I like that. Let me show you how we do do that move. Right here is where is the title that YouTube gives our video. Okay, for indexing right there. So right after it, there's a uh, quotation mark. You can see the quotations right here. So between the, the, uh, the, the name they give it and the quotation mark, we're gonna place our cursor right there. And we're gonna type the following. Question mark, autoplay equals one. And that's it. That's gonna get our, our video to autoplay. We hit visual, then we can actually see its representation right there, okay? Then underneath, we're gonna write more tags that is very keyword rich. Okay, so I'm not really gonna write it, but you will see that uh, underneath the video right now. You can see what I wrote. All right, so now what do we do? So now what we wanna do is go back and do a few things to our post. We wanna take the very first sentence 
and it wants to be somewhat of a um, you know of a sub of a subheading. And we want an H2 tag it, which basically means go in here and select heading two, which is an H2. Okay, that's going to make it highlight a little bit and make it a little bigger, I should say. And that's an H2 tag. Now you want to do next thing to your keywords, right? When you go to your keywords, you want to do three things to them. One, there's our keyword how to blog. You want to take your keyword and one, you want to bold it. Two, you want to go to a keyword and you want to italicize it. And the third thing you want to do to your keyword, how to blog, is you want to underline it. Okay, and you want to do that random throughout your post. And throughout your post, you want to have the following: you want to have it make sure it's between 300 and 500 words, and you want to make sure that it's uh, it has the keyword peppered throughout it at least five times. You know, you can be more than five times, but a minimum of five times. Okay. So once you've done that, and then you go through your post, and then you, you you know you randomly go through and you take them and you highlight, you bold, you bold, you do you do all these things. Okay, all the way down your post. Now, this is actually on an empowered network authority site. And let me explain to you what that means. Empowered network is a system that I use that is an, an authority blog site. All right, you never know it because you can totally customize the blog uh, so it looks and feels like your own personal blog, and yet it lives on the empowered network URL. And the reason this is so powerful is because not only are you blogging on this URL, but there's you know tens of thousands of other people blogging on the same URL, which causes that URL to have an enormous amount of backlinks, an enormous amount of ranking, and takes your post and indexes it very quickly. So that's important. So if you haven't gotten your Empowered Network blog, it's only 25 bucks a month, it's super cheap. Uh, at the bottom of this page, there's uh, a link for you to join my team on the prosperity team where we actually teach you all this stuff and more this is where i learned this th these things by the way all right the reason i bring that up at the empowered network blog is on the empowered network blog you actually have this seo score where you can type in your keyword okay and it's going to help you uh do certain things to your blog post to get that thing to rank better all right so after you type it in it's going to come up with different ways that you're not thinking of that'll help you SEO this thing um, internally, okay? And so right here, it's showing me that I have a 46.67 score. It's showing me I have a 6.67 density of the keyword, and all these X's are ways to improve, like more words needed. We just talked about that and some other things, okay? So this is a cool little tool they have here that enables you to get this done. All right. So once I get the entire post written, I got it peppered with my uh, keyword. I've done the, the highlighting, uh, underlining, and italicizing throughout. Next thing I want to do is link a couple of the keywords to an authority site. Okay. If you're already on the Empowered Network, you don't need to worry about this so much. But if you're not, you might want to go to a site like Mashable.com, for example, find an article about blog posting or how to write a blog, and just link a couple of these how to write a blogs to that blog post and it'll give it a lot more backlinks from an authority site and if you can do it with an edu site or dot org site that's also very powerful okay so you want to make sure you link your keywords to other sites that are authority that are on the same topic and that will help rank got that one okay so after you've done all that now we're ready to distribute it so you want to make sure you publish it and after you've published it Okay, then you want to go uh, and actually find that, that published post and grab the URL. The URL that site is right up here, right? How to write a blog post and some of the stuff that we've written. And all you got to do is grab this URL and hit copy. Next, you're going to go over to our first tool, which is Social Monkey. Very cool. And in Social Monkey, these tools I'm going to show you are free. So Social Monkey, all you want to do is go to socialmonkey.com and sign up for your free site and then click on submit URL and it's going to bring you to this page and that's what you're going to do. You're going to submit the URL and a couple other key things it's asking for. Okay, so to make sure that you log in so after you've uh, you know, gotten your free um, your, your free login and you use that to get all these simple instructions. Put, put in your URL and we just grab that. Okay, 
then you want to go back to your blog post and grab the title okay got that place that guy in here then here's to ask him for a description so all you really need here is just to grab like the first sentence or probably the first paragraph of your post and place that guy whoops in there as well there's that <laughs> then the tags um, you know you want to put in your keyword here all right you can place other key, other keywords in if you'd like but um, I, I I like the strategy just one keyword because it keeps it centric and allows it to really focus on that keyword uh, then you want to choose a category we'll choose business and then just hit preview and then you hit submit and that's it okay I'm not gonna do that because the post is not completely ready to go I want to wait until it's ready to go before I do that all right next we go to a site called pingler that's pingler.com and again you set up your free account here if I click and sign up it's free and then you can do the same thing and I've already pre-populated you know uh, with, with our title our, our URL and here are categories you can pick up the three so here I picked search engine optimization um, and you can pick up the three so you can choose other ones like marketing etc internet and then once you've done that you just come down here you type in the captcha and hit ping and then that'll go to work for you there okay so social monkey pingler and then what you want to do is go to all of your uh, social medias okay and with the social medias i recommend as a minimum that you do the following social medias where's my social media here we go following as many you want to go to linkedin okay so i go linkedin and post it in linkedin you also want to go to um, facebook and post it in facebook google plus as well as pinterest okay facebook linkedin google plus pinterest and just post a blurb about your your post and that's it and then once you've done these these things it is literally going to rank on the first page of google let me show you so if i go back to uh youtube i can show you or actually if i go back to the home page here on this empower network blog and again this stuff here just so you know that these these uh banners etc are completely customizable all right i can i can put my own banner up here i can get rid of this side banner put my own keep it it doesn't matter okay you can totally customize it so if you look at some of these things um uh on some of these posts you can see what i was going for so if i click on uh can change equal growth you can quickly see that uh, what my keyword was because I've highlighted it, I've underlined it, I've italicized it, right? <clears throat> so here, on this post, you can clearly see that the word change is what I was going for. Let me pause that. The word change is what I'm going for throughout. It's all highlighted. There's links. You know, these things are linking to an authority site. All these cool things. So if I go to um, Google and I type in change, I ought to be in the first page and I haven't even checked this I'm a little nervous but um, what the heck so if I go up here and type in okay and I do a Google search I'm hoping it's gonna come up <laughs> and let's take a look there it is actually it's the very second organic search for it how do you like that bang love it that worked out and so uh, if we go back, let's just look at one more, and then we'll wrap this up. Um, so if I go back to another article I wrote, and let's just go, I don't know, there's no INT, let's look at the next one. And we'll see what my, the keyword that I was going for is probably team. Because again, you always want to make sure that it's in your title and team is in my title and it's team in my title, it's in my sub, in my A1 tag or H2 tag, I mean. It's here, it's here. And again, these are all linking to authority sites. All right. 
Oops, somehow that went back. But anyway, so we know it's team. So let's go up here and type in team. Team, and let's see if I got it on the first page of Google there. Again, I've had some incredible success. Nothing's perfect, but I'd say like 90, there it is, see? So like 90% of the time, I'm almost saying 100% of the time because I've never seen it not work, you will rank on the first page of Google for the keyword that you're searching, that, that you're trying to rank for, and then that's gonna drive that traffic. So when we do um, how to blog, you know, clearly I'm not on there yet because I haven't gotten this post published and circulated. But when we go to how to blog, I will come up here and those 20 million local and 124 million global searches per month are gonna come here when they type in how to blog, they're gonna see my information and they're gonna click on it, come into my world and take certain actions. Okay, that's how this stuff is intended to work and that's how it'll work for you. So with that in mind, get out there and do some of this stuff. Share with me some of your results. If you've got any questions on anything we've covered today, please put your comments below. I promise I'll answer all of them. And with that in mind, get out there and blog, use the keyword research, be intentional on what you're doing on the internet, and you will get uh, the results you're looking for. This is Dave Abron. Until next time, we'll speak soon.